How to evaluate a blockchain using on-chain metrics. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate a blockchain using on-chain metrics. Now, I didn't say how to value a blockchain. I said how to evaluate. Why the distinction? Because what makes the price of a token move, at least in the short term, is unknowable. And I'm sure those of you who trade tokens have experienced that. There is this ongoing battle between token fundamentals, how the token is actually working for people, and price manipulation. No one really knows when a token will jump up or go down, because token prices today are not driven by strict fundamentals. Not yet, anyway. I do believe over time, we will see a stronger relationship between the utility a token provides and its perceived value. But in the meantime, we can filter out a lot of junk tokens that have no chance of ever being adopted by doing a simple inspection of their on-chain metrics. So you can figure out things like, is anyone adopting this token and this blockchain? How are people using the token? Is usage going up or is it going down? So let me run through some useful on-chain metrics that I find helpful. First, take a look at the number of accounts on that blockchain, or number of addresses. And you can easily find this information on the Block Explorer for that particular token. Pay attention to three things. The absolute number of accounts, and the average number of accounts being created per day, and the average number of accounts that are active each day. Since account activity can be faked, by the way, at WAX, we distinguish between regular accounts and verified accounts. A verified account is an account that has some form of personal identifying information on it. It means that account is a higher likelihood of having been created by a real person, not some bot. Next, look at the transactions that are being done on the blockchain. Obviously, the more transactions, the better if you're trying to measure activity. But be aware, not all transactions are the same at least not to me. Some transactions like transfers between blockchain accounts, creating a new account on a blockchain or voting in the case of a DPoS chain, are what I would call economic activity. These transactions represent real human activity. Now, there are other transactions that may not represent real human activity. These are called operations. An operation happens when the blockchain or the smart contract is carrying out some set of software instructions. There may be a dozen software instructions or operations to carry out one real world transaction, for instance, like creating an NFT. And transactions can be faked, remember that, what is a fake transaction? Think of it as similar to wash trading on exchanges. So if you're just sending transactions back and forth between two accounts for no purpose other than to drive up transaction volume, I'd call that fake transaction volume. For chains with smart contracts, another useful measure is the number and quality of the dApps using the chain. Dapps are just apps that use that particular blockchain. And not all dApps are created equal. You can quickly scan two websites, DAP Review or DAP Radar, to find the number of DAPs using that blockchain and the amount of activity being generated from each of those DAPs. Things like the number of daily active users, the number of transactions being done with those DAPs. This is valuable because the more high quality DAPs using the blockchain, the more likely that chain has something to offer people. So it's probably got some staying power. Now, staking is another metric that I find very useful. Staking is for proof of stake chains. So it wouldn't be for Bitcoin or Ethereum, they're proof of work. Staking generally involves locking up your tokens in some manner in order to be able to do something with them. Maybe vote for who's going to be the blockchain validators on that blockchain. A high staking percentage generally implies an active user base. The token holders want to do something on that blockchain, and in order to do it, they must stake. In the case of the blockchain I'm involved with, WAX, 80% of all WAX tokens are staked, which is a very high threshold. The last metric I'm going to mention here is the dollar value of transactions being conducted on that blockchain. This is a very important measure, but sometimes a little bit difficult to find. Now, what I'm talking about here is the dollar value of what is being sent 
back and forth between different blockchain addresses. So as long as it's not faked, you can imagine something like sending a thousand different Bitcoin to a bunch of different blockchain addresses is more reflective of economic activity than say sending a thousand wax tokens. The first one represents seven and a half million dollars worth of economic activity. The other wax would be $25. So that is a quick rundown of six on-chain metrics that I find useful in gauging the real utility value of a blockchain. If you like what you heard in this video, please hit subscribe and I'll talk to you next time.